on your sheet. Perfect. Uh, thanks. Okay. Um, so uh, kind of the idea for this was more for you to discuss and just to uh, kind of open the topic. So can you send me in the chat what the jury groups do? You are finished, someone. Uh, so my group number four, uh, as Anna already wrote it in the group chat, she copied it again so everybody can see it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mariana is working on that on behalf yes. of our group. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am working our notes too for group one. Okay. Um, Anna, if you started with group four, do you want to continue? Yes, sure. Should we wait everyone to present and then the next one to, to share in the chat? Or so we should share it right now. You can all share and then just read yours. I mean, from yes. your group. Okay. So who's going to start? I can go. Mm -hmm. Go. Okay, so so we divided the uh, the topics into parts. One is regarding the tools that we would like to include, and the uh, the other one is about the topics we want to to speak about. So in the tools part, we put the presentation of online meeting platforms like Zoom, Teams, Google Meet, and Skype. Um, then presentation of interactive tools or quiz tools like Miro, Padlet, Mentimeter, Kahoot, and quizzes. Uh, presentation of tools for creating presentations and content in general, like Canva, Peach, uh, Aha Slides, and PowerPoint, and presentation of Google Drive and its tools like Google Slides, Google Docs, and mm -hmm. etc. the tools where a group of people can work simultaneously uh, together. And regarding the topics, um, we didn't have much time, but uh, what we uh, talked about was how to create an interactive, uh, tips on how to create an interactive and inclusive online spaces, how to communicate effectively, uh, meaning with uh, people coming from different backgrounds and instruction, instructions or training on how to use the online tools we've mentioned previously. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Nice. You're welcome. Um, I'm gonna go from the bottom to the top. Uh, Vasily, do you want to share for your group? Uh, yeah. So it was uh, me and Maria Domazetovic that wrote this part. So we just focused on the topics mainly. So the first one would be uh, improving communication uh, with young people, with stakeholders, so any partner organizations or parent organizations that we're dealing with, how to uh, properly manage that. So we would be working on our management skills and also communication skills. Uh, any logistic matters need to be uh, cleared up. So that, that's what the, this point will be focusing on. And of course, with other youth workers, so teamwork, exchanging ideas about uh, how to be better at, at the job, uh, learning new techniques and such. The second point would be teaching others how to teach themselves. So this would, uh, first of all, involve self-evaluation. So uh, understanding what sort of uh, learner you are and then uh, teaching them where to find good materials according to uh, sort of the points of their self-evaluation then teaching them autodidactic techniques, that is techniques about how to teach yourself. And lastly, probably uh, the most important one, developing study routines. Uh, if we are motivated to do something and we just do it for a handful of days, obviously we're not going to be particularly successful at it. But if we continue on with it for months and years, then we're much more likely to see some fruits from our work. Then the last point, how to find sources that are adequate for your topic of choice. Uh, this would involve how to differentiate between use, 
useful and non-useful sources, not necessarily correct or incorrect, just what is uh, necessary for our use case, and then how to represent that information in an engaging manner. Mm -hmm. Okay, very detailed, nicely done, both of the, these groups. Thank you. Uh, let's hear then Azana. Is Anna, you want to talk or you want me to read? I guess I will because she has some uh, technical mm -hmm. uh, voice problems, let's say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so within our group, we uh, discussed, we did identified six topics. Uh, using online platforms as tools for dialogue, then active listening, promoting cross-cultural understanding, how to incorporate non-formal learning methods to educate young people on the topic of prejudice and stereotypes. Uh, we also thought it would be interesting to have it included real life examples of something that happened to us. Um, and the last but not least is best practices from each of the partner countries, uh, meaning that can be also practices from the um, organizations themselves, but to be identified and uh, noted as country examples, practices. Clear, thank you. Can I just confirm, are you group one? Uh, no, we are group number four. Four, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, then let's hear others. Eloisa, you're next. <laughs> yes, yeah, we are group number one. And I was uh, with uh, Fatlum, Vizar, and Donika. Uh, so we basically, uh, we pointed out three main, uh, let's say, big topic. So the first one is like to say the the very first step of all the youth workers is to uh, how to manage with the multiculturality, so intercultural dialogue. So we thought that it's very important to start always with the like the iceberg exercise or the iceberg tool, mm -hmm. uh, since according to us is the most important starting point every time we are in a multicultural context. And then we pointed out a second session related to soft skills uh, that is general for youth work. Uh, so uh, we pointed out the motivation. So how to find the motivation because it's a very hard work and then some tips for a step-by-step -step learning process that it's actually a continuous learning process. So uh, some tips on how to be always updated and uh, maybe including also some important links on your continuous learning. And then a session about uh, how to react to failures because uh, it's a very important part also to teach youth workers how to uh, deal also with the success and failures as well, because you always have to learn something. And then the final part is the most technical one. So it's about the digital tools, of course, that we learned during this uh, training and the previous one. And we thought about some uh, interactive uh, thing that can link to like tutorial on how to use, I don't know, Mentimeter, Miro, or um, any other digital uh, device. Mm -hmm. and that's it. Okay. Thank you. And the last but not least. <laughs> Our group two, number two. So we found the three, three plus one main topic. The first one is uh, how to use digital tools and why is it is so important to use digital tools. Uh, tools like Miro, Mentimeter, and uh, how to use uh, it for the presentation uh, and so on. And mm -hmm. uh, with, with a particular focus on how to use GIF and Meme, because uh, we think that it's very important to use some images on GIF to keep up, keep high the level of attention of the participants. And uh, it is very important. And uh, another main topic is uh, to give uh, example and tips based on our, our past uh, experience. 
Uh, and uh, uh, the last one is to give some uh, example of ice breaking uh, our games to know each other, because we think that uh, this kind of um, action, uh, ice break and games can feel more comf comfortable the participants, in particular for the shining participants. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you all. Uh, thank you very much. And I have to say that I'm uh, kind of surprised and maybe you're going to be too when you see what we're going to do next. Uh, because actually each of your groups kind of separated into like focused mainly on one of the five topics that I, I'm going to about to give you. So I don't know, it's somehow you read my mind. So <laughs> nice one. Uh, okay. So as I said, this was kind of our icebreaker for the thing that we are gonna do uh right now and um so what what will happen right now is that uh we are gonna create a guy at this moment so in the chat i have written which group is working on which topics and i kind of checked everything you wrote so that it matches the main focus and uh give me a sec just to share the screen so how are we going to do the task is that uh, we will have five topics. So each of your groups is going to cover one of these five topics. Uh, so first one is knowledge sharing and youth work. Somehow I tried to listen and gather from everything you said, and that's how I decided which group is going to do um, which. I guess it would be easier than for you to vote and so on, because also, some of you covered more topics, but I see the focuses. The next one is youth worker skills. And the third one is working intercultural environment. Fourth, tips for preparation uh, of online training. And fifth, suggestion of online tools for youth work. So the difference between fourth and fifth is maybe you can, um, like, in the fourth one, tips for preparation, you can talk about all the important stuff regarding to online trainings. Uh, and in the fifth one, you should talk about tools um, more specifically. Of course, feel free to to uh, go wide as, as you need to. So how are we going to do this task? Um, each group should write down everything related to their topic. And, and I'm going to get you back into, into the same break rooms that, where you've been. And uh, in this folder that I'm just about to share with you, we have five different documents. So you need to see what's your topic, you select your document, and how does the document look like? Is that, let's see the first one. So we have, uh, we have knowledge sharing and youth work. Uh, if you have time, you can write a small introduction. And here I kind of left you options for subtitles. You can create more or less depending on what you need. And somehow I wanted to navigate you a bit how you can create this. So if you are talking about this topic, let's say knowledge sharing and youth work. For example, for the first one, you can say um, after the introduction, knowledge sharing. Then the second one can be youth work. Then the third one can be connection between knowledge sharing and youth work. So whatever you want to talk about um, and that you mentioned right now uh, with your group. And here you can, uh, you can include one of these things. So some of the explanations, like why is this important? Is there like maybe some um, uh, like multiple options that we can use and so on and so on? Uh, how to steps if if it's relevant to your topic? Uh, this is maybe mostly for how to create something. In for example, for this topic, you can exclude this one if you feel it's irrelevant. And what visuals would you use for this for, like for this topic? And you can, you don't have to, of course, like, uh, in, like download pictures, upload them here. Just let me know. Like if maybe some visual is like, um, like presentation or maybe pie chart or maybe picture GIF or some like welcoming picture. So whatever you feel like that, that matters. And basically each of the groups will have, uh, their own document. Um, yeah, of course. I, I'm gonna link it in a second. So, uh, before before we start, uh, is it clear this regarding the document? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 
I kind of try to make the easier way for you to at least have some, you know, uh, suggestion on how the guide should look like and how how you should talk about your topic, how you should cover it. So everyone has an edit access here and I'm going to link the entire folder. So you just need to select your, um, sorry, uh, you just need to select your uh, document related to your group. In this chat, you can see which group uh, you belong to. And here is the link for the folder. So um, remember which group are you and what's your topic? Like don't, <laughs> don't mix up the documents and so on. And uh, before I put you in the break, ro break rooms, is there maybe something? you'd like to clarify. I'll take it as all clear. Uh, good. Then I'm getting you back to to the same rooms. Uh, could you just uh, please tell me which group am I in exactly? I didn't uh, mm -hmm. catch You're it exactly. Five. You're five. Five, right. I, okay. I see that Maria, she dropped out of the call and... Blerina is right here. She wasn't in the group, so I'm going to add you and Blerina, if that's fine. Um, Sorry, do we, how many time do we have now? Uh, you have 30 minutes, okay? Good. I'm going to go circle your rooms while you're working, if you have some questions. Okay. Uh, give me just a sec to see. Okay, groups are there. You're free to go. Okay. Good job. I have to say that I'm really, really impressed by everything you did. I've been reading through the things while all of you have been typing. So um, I'm really curious to hear about how are you feeling after your entire day. And we are going to jump on that part. Um, but before that, I would actually like uh, for everyone to review uh, all the group's work. Uh, I was thinking that in order to save time, I would actually go through your documents uh, just so we can see maybe some of the subtitles, what are the main topics that uh, the groups included. So let me share the screen. Okay, so our first group uh, was doing, uh, or actually I'm going to go just uh, by the topics, but the, the groups are in different orders. So our first topic was knowledge sharing and new work. And here um, we have a nice introduction. It's very uh, detailedly explained. Um, what is knowledge sharing? What is youth work? Uh, why is it important? And uh, then we have a subtitle that says that literally connects knowledge sharing in the field of youth work. Um, second is the strategies and best practices in the field of youth work. Um, this is really, uh, this is also an interesting point here. And the final one is how to utilize technology for knowledge sharing in the field of youth work. So I think this was group five, very nice job, very detailed. Uh, I see you included uh, explanations, steps, everything, uh, and also explain it, which visuals would you uh, include. You also succeeded to link. Some of the apps, very nice, nicely done, great job. Let's see, the second topic is youth worker skills. Here we have a brief introduction and then uh, some, of the main, um, some of the main skills are covered, such as communication. Then we have also some visuals, nice. Uh, so you managed to include them as well. Teaching others how to teach themselves. This is very good. So 
especially when we orient to that topic of um, usually people call this self-help books or self-help uh, workshops. But yeah, it's important to teach other people how they can learn by themselves, how to find sources that are adequate to your topic or cho of choice. And also this group, very nice work. I like the, the main skills you presented and then how you kind of um, uh, broke it down to other important things within the main scale. Good one. Let's see our third topic, uh, working in intercultural environment. So we have uh, a brief introduction and then also a nice explanation. What is actually intercultural environment? Uh, this is really an, uh, a nice idea because when we are creating a guide, basically we should start from the more basic things and then move to the complex ones. So here we also have some um, kind of a suggestions how to achieve this, overcome language and cultural barriers, consider different culture communication styles, be open to all cultures and their differences. That's true and very good. Uh, nice, uh, nice that you uh, had also time to, to find some of the visuals. And this is a really interesting um, subject, what to avoid. And here I see that you kind of um, um, said avoid stereotyping and then made entire text about it. Also included uh, how to steps uh, with some more pictures. Really great job, this group, amazing. Let's see our next topic, preparation of online trainings. Um, just to see, introduction, why uh, why is better to start online trainings, why to do an online training, um, if we have more people, it's better to use it, how is it important to remind online, for online trainings, mm -mm -mm. okay, that yeah, you should have some uh, platform, yeah, okay, then we have here, it says, uh, giving some tips how to prepare uh, the trainers, uh, should do some tests in order to prepare them um, for the training. Why is it important to use presentation with image photos? Uh, 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 use GIFs, memes, keep up the level of intense. Trainers should practice before the meeting in order not to exceed the times. That's true. Okay. I see that you wrote your texts in, in, uh, in headers, so we're just going to move it as... Uh, text body but it's good sorry for the editing <laughs> it's fine you're we're, we're gonna sort it out uh how to prepare a participant before the training okay something related to the end of training okay so here we have something related to dissemination how can we or actually what can we do with it uh after the training okay cool nice and Let's see our final online tools in work. I see this is also one very detailed guide, very nice job. Uh, we have uh, introduction that's mentioning the COVID. Yes, everything has changed since then. Then it says that uh, how you can present on online meeting platforms. We also have some suggestions here, uh, which, um, which platforms to use. And we also have how to steps for scheduling, joining the meeting, navigating, and uh, this is this is really nice. Uh, I like that you also mentioned that you would include some tutorial for youth workers how they can use the the um, the digital tools for uh, for online calls. Uh, presentation of interactive tools or quiz tools. Uh, I see that you were more focused on not just suggesting su suggesting uh, which apps they should use, but also how they can actually use it. So this is really good because a lot of people are not as comfortable with online tools in case they haven't used it in the past. So nice for mentioning all the steps. Presentation of tools for creating presentation and content. Yeah. You also included the steps and also I see that you would add some, some visuals to explain each of this. Great, amazing work, everyone done. Um, what I want to say is that Give me just a sec. Yeah. What I want to say is that uh, I like how you understood that different topics that you had require different approaches as well uh, when we are creating guidelines. And for those who haven't created any guidelines in the past, 
great job. It's not as scary as you can see. If you have something to share, it's it's really nice. And um, I can mention that everything that you created right here today, it is actually going to be published a bit more edited and then published in a guideline. So congrats. You can now say that you did contribute to, to the guide, to creation of guidelines. And basically uh, for everyone who did participate in this type of activity in the past, thank you for maybe providing the structure or some steps and so on. Uh, I'm really glad that you kind of had that balance between uh, both your groups, but also within the entire uh, group of participants today. So something that I would like to do for, for our end is actually to hear you and um, to hear how was your day. So uh, we are going back to our Mentimeter. Hope, hopefully you haven't closed it because this is the most interesting part for me at least. Uh, so let's see, my first question for you is, how are you feeling? Once again, let's go with all the words. They're, they're going to pop up on our cloud. Bit tired, tired. Yeah, it's a productive Saturday. Okay, productive, happy, everyone else, more knowledge, great and tired, yeah, <laughs> I can relate, comfortable, enthusiastic, amazing, but tired, <laughs> productive, knowing more, motivated, the day started amazing, okay, I guess the day didn't end amazingly. <laughs> Good. Mm. Can I have the link for the Menti once again, please? I lost it. Probably. Oh yeah, you can just uh type in menti.com and then use the code uh that's here. In yes, well I meant the code. Mm -hmm. Here I can copy it for you. And it's going to be in the chat. Or you can just open this link, actually. It's going to be easier. Oh, sorry. No. Here. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I definitely understand you. We did a lot of work. We started uh, early in the morning. Maybe it's early for some of you on Saturday. Uh, but yeah, I, I can agree that it was a productive day. But of course, after couple of hours of any work we would all be tired okay next thing i want to hear from you uh is this one how satisfied are you with your participation so i'm very satisfied somewhat i could contribute a bit more or i'm not satisfied i wish i could have contributed more okay I guess that all that haven't contributed, they're not satisfied <laughs> there, or maybe they're not uh, with us here today. But uh, uh, I see that there's a mix of everything. I guess that's it, unless we're waiting for someone else. Um, thank you. I can say that I'm really, really um, uh, thankful that all of you participated in, in this portion, meaning that I think that most of the people who are on the call uh, took part at at least one. <coughs> I see that more of you were present there. Um, bless you, whoever coughed. And uh, in general, I, no worries. In general, what I wanted to say that uh, this is a good question to ask your participants, not only for online trainings, but also in person ones, because um, sometimes what we can see is that people, it's not that they don't want to participate. It's maybe they have some obstacles. It can be the technical things, but usually it's some inner feelings and so on. So if people are able to even recognize that they maybe would want it to participate more, you can always approach them later on, ask them what's wrong and so on. Um, of course, right now, I will not like ask you to identify which one of these are you. 
But I think that as a youth worker, it's also good to recognize if you think that you could have contributed more to something else. Okay, uh, let's see the next one. Did you learn something new today? How was today's workshop for you? Let's see the cloud words again. Fine. Let's be more descriptive than fine, please. So, a bit long. Yeah, we had a lot of things to cover. Mm -hmm. Very helpful. Mm -hmm. Regarding the research, whoever mentioned that you want to do something else, uh, for everything that we cover today, I am going to include, I'm going to send uh, all of the links for the things we talked about. I can also send, send some more references for youth work practices if you're interested in that one. So we can also explore on your own. Okay. Mm-hmm. And did you learn something new? No one said that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you for, for sharing everything. Uh, I'm also going to read everything once again when we are finished, just so I can make sure to, to have seen. All of it but as i can see for most of you it was super interesting which which is really nice uh to hear <laughs> someone says i don't like online workshops <laughs> well then congrats that you survived this one what can i say thank you thank you for your patience uh but in general yeah uh online workshops they are challenging and keep in mind that you can always work with people yeah, like within our sector, people are here voluntarily. So not either me or you should push people to work if, if they're not up for it. The only thing that we can do is somehow like make it more interesting. So when we were discussing some things and I tried to include you as much as I could because I really wanted to hear what you have to say. But in the end, when you are working with some other people who are not youth workers, you can expect that uh, trainings are probably going to be more challenging. And that's fine. Like until you find the target group that's super interesting, then um, then that's the case. I'd also want to share one more thing with you regarding that because uh, I'm currently a, a participant in a six month long project that's on doing online. So I'm a participant, not a coordinator. And um, because it's a really immersive program and it's really serious, it's involved with like several companies and NGOs, what they kind of did before, like when all of us applied and so on, they asked us dozens of times if we are um, like, if we are like agreeing that we will participate in every activity because mostly it's online like, and it's once a week. So it really asks a lot of time for you, of you. Another thing that people did is that they made us sign a contract. Um, and a contract, I, I mean, if you are being honest, that's like not a le legal in a way where like no one can sue you if you don't participate or you can sue your participants. But the thing is that that's more, more some like moral conduct. Basically, it's really good practice for NGOs to sign contracts with their participants to feel them obligated to actually attend workshops. So um, that's some practice that I saw and experienced as a participant. And I can be honest with you that so far I haven't missed a single one activity for four months. And 
it is every week. So maybe that's something that can also help you out when you're planning your, your activities. Okay. Um, I want to hear some things about myself. So try to be honest. And uh, if you have some concrete thing to say, you'll have the next slide to, to write it down. Uh, here you can once again use the slide. Uh, just say how you want, like, how do you feel about some of these things from from poor to excellent. And I promise I will not look. Uh, I will look at it maybe when we end the, the session. And by the way, everything is anonymous in case I haven't mentioned that in the beginning. So <laughs> you can be honest as you want to. Okay, I see that we have, I think that are all the answers. Let me just see the previous one. Okay. So uh, something else that I want to ask is, is there anything else you would like to share with us that we didn't ask? If you have some suggestion for, uh... oh, okay, thank you, Paris. Um, so do you maybe have some suggestion for improvement, uh, either for this workshop or for some things that we will all do in the future for our project or just some comments that you have send us material like after the workshop or better call uh call like uh -huh, call uh for the participants okay mm -hmm. yes after the workshop i won't forget no worries that's also one thing about trainership it happened probably to everyone that we say i'm gonna send you that and then it never happens um i don't know from some senior trainers I really heard that uh, you should write notes when you want to send something if you mention something interesting you see at least one person being interested in what you're uh, what you mentioned they want to find out a bit more um, make sure to to write a note for yourself and then uh, then do it later on do we get certificates I guess this is already covered um uh, because organizers mentioned that you do what will happen with the guide uh guide will be edited if i'm correctly and um i'm not sure when it's going to get published but i believe that you're gonna get notified maybe eliza you want to jump in regarding the certificates i see that's the popular topic mm -hmm. Yeah, very short, and Mara, correct me if I say something wrong, but uh, Mara wrote the email uh, at which you have to send a very short email saying that we are interested in receiving the certificate, and we will go back to you in a week uh, with the certificate of uh, attendance certificate. And if I can, about the guide, we were going to uh, edit it uh, with, with, basically, you did a great job, so... I do not think that we have to work on it so much. And it will be published on the official website of the project, which you can find. Okay, we can uh, copy the website on the chat as well. So you will be able to go there and download the guide for free, of course. And we can also send the guide to all the participants uh, with the newsletter. Uh, so you will receive the guide at the same email you uh, enrolled in this training course. Mm -hmm. Also, 
Uh, it, it, the email is in the chat for everyone who needs it. Yep. Okay. The email and the website is now in the chat. Yeah. Thank you, Eliza. So, okay. Um, thank you for all the nice comments. Uh, I really, I, I'm, I'm glad to see that some of you enjoyed and that you kind of, a, uh, that you able to, to stay till the end. I have to say that for the entire job, you made a really nice, uh, like summary for the guys. And as Eliza said, I don't think there will be like much edits because the work was pretty good. So I guess they will notify you when the guide is live or published in general. Um, okay, that's about it from our uh, evaluation. Uh, one other thing that I have from you is something like summary of the things we did today. And as you can see, we did cover a lot of things. So uh, I kind of tried to have three productive sessions and like to also give you space for, for your group work. So we covered a lot of different topics from this morning because we were also uh, summarizing the previous training. And I can say that this was a quite successful day. We really did a lot of job for, for just three and a half sessions. And um, maybe I will keep it in mind to have some longer breaks, but I personally prefer to have shorter breaks and you know finish everything like at 3 p.m. so we can kind of have the whole uh, whole day off. Uh, but in general, thank you for, for all the feedback you mentioned. It really it really means to me. And in the end, I can just say that if you like need any help, if you have some questions when you're going to create your first online training or any type of training in general, you're welcome to, to write to my email. I'm also going to be sending it to, um, to the organizers and include it in the follow-up. So really, if you need any type of help, don't be afraid. It's really not stupid to write to anyone. If I get your email, I'm going to be super happy. So if you need anything else, feel free to write. But I can say that, as I can see, that most of you, you're already pretty experienced uh, within these topics. And I don't have any doubt that you're going to you're gonna rock the job. So I guess this would be it for today, unless someone else has something to add. And thank you very much for uh, for anything else. Here's a heart. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Joanna. Thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah, thank Bye. you so much. Bye -bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Hi there. I just wanted to check if we're having any sort of partner meeting now, like last time, or am I free to go? Uh, well, no, if you want to go, you are free because uh, we will have, uh, we will call for an online staff meeting uh, in the next few days. Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay. So that everyone, so we are sure that everyone will attend. Sounds mm. good. I'm wishing you all a great rest of your weekend. You Thank too, you. bye. bye. Thank bye. you, bye. Yeah, also, okay. No, perfect. Okay, here we are. Thank you very much. That was really, really great. Okay, thank you.